Yeah, Christmas boar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my head. Oh, fuck. Shall we maybe smell it first? You, you should just drink it. Today is a lovely day for a Guinness. See? Uh. Oh, here was a fucking active guy. Guinness gives you good quality sperm. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. All right. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Drink Some Beer and Prosper Christmas special episode. Today we will have Ireland. Yeah, Ireland. Do we have the uh, map? This this is Ireland. And it, as you can see, it's not scratched out from this map yet. No. And it's green. How fitting. We are going to give each other Christmas presents this time. Oh yeah. In the end of the episode, there will be... A surprise. Yeah. At the end of the episode. Yeah, at the end of the episode. This is both a Christmas episode and an Ireland episode. I recently been to Ireland. I brought four different types of Irish beer with me that we will try today. It will be a stout heavy episode. Uh, shall we start with the first one? Yeah, uh, this is Hophouse Lager. It's 4.1%. It's actually brewed by Guinness and it has its name after uh, the building where the hops are stored at St. James's Gate. Pour it up then. And this is a big beer. It's more than a pint. It's a big bottle and a big beer. Let's try it. Yeah. Mm. I, I think it's. It smells like a German lager. It's One, two, three. Slanche. I knew it. Do you know what this reminds me of? Yeah. It's like uh, a bitter beer. You know what I think this reminds me of? What then? An Oktoberfest beer. But I really like this one. I tried it in uh, Dublin. It was worth bringing home. Yeah, and uh, as we mentioned, we are going to drink a lot of stouts this episode. Can you tell me the difference in between uh, stouts and uh, porters? It's not a big difference. Stout uses roasted barley. Porter does not. Porters tend to be a little bit sweeter. A lot of people say that stout is a failed uh, porter, but <laughs> that is actually unfair. <laughs> Do you want to rate it? It's barrelicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good rating. I think it's nothing special, but I think it's really drinkable. Uh, I think it would go uh, by uh, three minus. Yeah, I'll give it a, a three. It was good. Shall drink some more? Yeah. Why did you go to Ireland? My uh, father turned 60, so we went abroad to celebrate. Did you try a lot of beers while visiting? Well, yeah, of course I did. Okay, how many? I mostly drank Guinness. I tried this one and also uh, an Irish Red Ale. So you tried three different beers? Only three. No, another lager I tried as well. Did you sing any Irish songs uh, while visiting? I didn't sing any. I didn't know the lyrics, <laughs> but I heard some. <laughs> you heard some, really? Okay, yeah. that was uh, my... I had that question as well. And a lot of pubs had uh, live music performance. Okay, that's special. <clears throat> the first burp. Did you dance on the tables? No. I heard that they do that in Ireland. Is that true? I didn't see it. When we go to Ireland together, we could do that. But we need to drink like 10 beers before that. I won't do it before that. <laughs> Cheers for that. Yeah. Slanche. Slanche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Christmas boar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my head. Oh, fuck. Can you burp like that? No, you burp more manly than I do. Oh. 
Drink for your motherland. Drink for your fatherland. Drink for everyone. Drink. We couldn't have an Ireland episode without Guinness. 4.2%. It is a stout, so the barley is roasted. It's roasted at about 230 degrees. And we have new glasses. Yes, with assigned names on it. You can see that. And there's a, there's a special technique when pouring a stout. So you want to start pouring immediately. You have to have the glass in a 45 degrees. Yeah. And pour about 80% of the can. So maybe, and then you let it settle. Uh, so, yeah, we got that creamy head. There's a little ball in this can. When you open the bottle, the ball releases nitrogen into the into the beer. That gives it this creamy head and mm. the smooth taste. How much do you drink per person in Ireland? I think they are ranked fifth in the world. All right, let's uh, drink then. Shall we maybe smell it first? You, you should just drink it. Slanche. Slanche. It, it tastes like a Guinness. I really like Guinness. Today is a lovely day for a Guinness. See. Si. Uh. I have one more Guinness fact for you about the uh, founder. Can you guess how many children he had? I think he was one of those guys. 10. 21. What? <laughs> Is it a world record? <laughs> oh, he was a fucking active guy. Guinness gives you good quality sperm, so cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't scored it yet. No. I will give it a three of five. It goes down to a tree when it's from a can. Did you hear any Irish folk songs there? Well, I guess, yeah. Did you see some uh, river dancing? No. How much Guinness did you drink? Around 10. I thought it would have been more. It's probably a bit more than 10, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than 15. Did you go to the Guinness Museum? Yes. How was it? Cool. Uh, they have a store. They go through the ingredients and then to the history. And then there's a part where you learn to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. And on the top level, there was a bar where you got a complimentary Guinness. Uh, it was a 360 view of Dublin. Okay, there. that's pretty nice. All right, shall we just drink a hell of a lot? Slanche. Slanche. You finished it. One go. I like to really enjoy my Guinness. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next beer. The other big stout brand from Ireland. Murphy's. This one is uh, 4%. This one is brewed in Cork, which is the second largest city in Ireland. Murphy's is owned by Heineken. Okay, all right, let's try it. This is the same procedure as the Guinness. Pour about 80% of the can. Let it settle. Okay, that looks cool. This one is even darker than the Guinness, I think. Yeah, Guinness has a slight amber color to it. This one is completely black. Let's try it, man. Smell? <laughs> Oaky okay, smell. Slanche. Slanche. Oaky okay taste as well. I like this one. This is good. It tastes uh, barreled. Yeah, I get your point. Shall we score it? I will give this one uh, 3.5 out of 5. Uh, I'm thinking the same. Still not as good as uh, Guinness on tap, but on can, Murphy's is better. Slanche. Slanche. Oh, you have questions for me? Yes, I have. Does Guinness taste better in Ireland? than elsewhere. Yes, it does. Did you go to the Northern Island? Yes, I did. We visited the Titanic Museum. Yeah. And then it was also a tour to a, a castle, uh, Dunluce Castle. The one that they used for Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, the Greyjoy Castle. Cool to know that. And the second site was Giant Causeway. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Is the Northern Island outside of the EU. It's in the United Kingdom, so 
Yes. Thank you, Brexit. I got a text message. Roaming is fucking expensive. European Please ex Let me explain, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're now outside the European Union. Data roaming will cost extra. How is the Irish bar culture? Is it good or bad? It's excellent. They're all really cozy. So you mean that if you go to Ireland, you have to do bar culture? That's part of Irish culture, right? Slanchy on that one. We, yeah. we need to drink this one now. It's a heavy beer, so you can't chug it. Can't? It's, it's chuggable. Should we? We should try to chug it. People want this. One, two, three. Slanchy. Easy to chug. Um, you're thirsty today. Yes, <laughs> I am. Next beer, please. Our last Irish beer for tonight. O'Hara's. It's called something. It's in Gaelic. Leanfalan. Six percent. Dark chocolate and vanilla combined with the mild mocha aroma. That sounds quite Christmassy. And you open mine. And this is a, a craft beer. And O'Hara is one of Ireland's biggest craft breweries. So it's a craft brewer. Yeah. All right. So it could be quite nice. Yeah. So this one did not get a foam head for me. For you, it got something. A dark foam. Yeah. Got... It's oaky as the other one. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, try it. Cheers. It's even more oaky than the last one. Yeah. I can totally tell this one is a craft because it has way more taste. What do you think? Uh, this is more to the porter side, but it's still a bit burnt taste. This is a mix in between porter and stout, I think. Yeah, I think so too. I like this one a lot. It's getting better and better. This is like a coffee stout. This is a perfect coffee stout. <laughs> ah, cheers on the coffee stout then. This one is really, really fucking nice. Uh, it's tasty as hell. I think I will go for a four. Okay, Actually. here is where we uh, disagree. I'll give this the uh, same score as, as the Guinness, mm. but I, I prefer to drink a Guinness. Yeah. It's the carbonated coffee taste that's a bit weird for me, I think. I think it's just better than coffee. <laughs> Okay, we're time for our surprise reveal. We're going to make our first cocktail. We're going to make some Irish coffee. It's a quite simple cocktail. Four ingredients, whiskey, coffee, sugar, and cream. So let's start. We will start with the whiskey, the most important stuff of everything. And we have a Jameson whiskey, an Irish whiskey. It should just be a non-smoky whiskey. So Jameson is a, a good whiskey to... I failed a bit. A you bird. also. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Now the coffee. A good ratio is two times coffee to whiskey. Needs uh, one uh, teaspoon of sugar. All right, and then there's time for the cream. Slightly whipped cream, so it floats on top. Yeah, it looks amazing. I will pour it to you as well. So here we go. That's good enough. Sorry for the messiness. Maybe a bit drunk, but our first time making our own Irish coffee. This will be amazing. Should we just see how it tastes? Yeah, yeah. This is a perfect continuation of the last stout there. So, uh, do you want to try some Irish candy that I got from the Guinness storehouse? Uh, Guinness uh, luxury sea salt caramel fudge. All right, plastic. A lot of plastics. Not good for the environment. Double plastic. Mmm, well, this is a nice fudge. And very Christmassy. Mm. Yeah, 
It is a nice Irish coffee. I've had better Irish coffees, but that was has made, been made by professionals, so <laughs> we put maybe a little bit too much cream on it. Otherwise, yeah. it's nearly perfect. Do you want to interview me some more? Oh, yeah, man. Would you go to Ireland again? Absolutely. I would like to go there with you, my friend. We should, man. <laughs> what was your favorite site of Ireland? Kilmaine and Jail. It was quite infamous in the early 1900s because they imprisoned Irish revolutionaries and political opponents. Kilmaine and Jail has been a set of a couple of movies in the name of, this is called in the name of my father or in the name of the father. That's a great movie, Daniel Day-Lewis. And the final question. Did I ask the wrong questions? No, they were pretty good. Pretty good fucking questions, man. Thanks. All right, it has come to the point for us to decide which of the Irish beers we've been drinking today has been the best. What's your favorite? My favorite, I think, is the last one. The O'Hara one. Yeah, because it was such a nice coffee kind of taste. I love coffee, so yeah, I was sold. I have to pick uh, Murphy Irish Stout. It was better than Guinness. Now it's time for our Christmas part of this episode. We are going to give each other some uh, presents. Yeah. I will give you this one. And I'll give you this one. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like a bottle. It looks like a bottle too. Okay, it's not easy to open. Mine is easier, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this one is really easy. Fuller's Old Winter Ale. Looks like this. Tint Meadow English Trappist Ale. Yeah, that's the only Trappist Ale from England. Now we will uh, try our uh, Christmas present. It was a beer surprise. Let's try this. Fresh? Smells fresh. <laughs> Let's try it then. Yeah. Slanche. It is tasty. This one is um, tasty. It's really wintry. It has a lot of taste. This one is strong. 7.4%. 5.3. It's a little bit too strong. I know it's Corona, but can should we? we? Yeah. We should. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. This is a banger. But I don't know if it's better than that one. This is more beer beer than that one. I, I, I prefer this one. <laughs> I think I might prefer this one. <laughs> Shall we just switch beer? We might as well. <laughs> just drink this motherfucker. Yes, we're going to have an alcohol test this night. Sadly enough, we didn't understand it completely. It will just show if you're drunk or not drunk, basically. Should we just try it? Yeah, we should just try it. Mine turned lime green. Mine turned uh, lime green as well. Surprise, we're drunk. <laughs> this taste is useless. Thanks guys for watching our Christmas and Irish episode. Now we'll probably take a small Christmas break. Yes, we will. And our next episode will be Denmark. We don't know when that will be, but until then, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.